Hey everyone, this is Marianne Murphy, productivity speaker, certified professional organizer, and author of Stop Wasting Your Precious Time. I have a great time management tip for you today that's from chapter 8 in the book. Chapter 8 is all about the special challenges of working from home. And many of us either work from home full time or we take work home with us. So strategy 49 talks about if you can try to find a place in your home where that's your consistent workspace. Ideally, it's a space that only you get to use, but I know sometimes that's difficult if you live with a lot of other people or your space is small and you have to multitask and multi-purpose every space that you have in your home. But if you possibly can, try to find a place at least where you're consistent about working, because that will save you a lot of time in not, not having to set up each time and try to find where things are and having all your supplies with you. So let me show you about where I, I work. So this is my great room. And so it's the living room and our, the main room of our house, really. And I love it here. But... Uh, one spot in the room is my workspace and it's not that big but when I sit down at my desk and the desk is really only a card table when I sit down here I know it's time for me to work so how did I create this well again it's just a card table here and with my laptop on it and then I've got a rack with my files I've got this IKEA bookcase, which when you put it on its side, it becomes a nice credenza. Down the bottom, there are all these baskets where you can put your files. Then there are these little, um, some open spaces where I put my notebooks and uh, binders. I've got a couple of little drawers for office supplies, another door here for things I want to keep hidden. And then over here, across the room, I have some hidden storage that just looks like any other kind of storage in a living room, so it's not distracting. And then over here, I have my bookshelves, so I have some more resources here for of time management books and organizing books and things like that. So the important thing is that it's a consistent spot I love it. It's, you know, I can look out the window while I'm working, but um, I try not to get too distracted. And that's one of the things you have to think about is, is your space going to be so distracting that you won't be able to work there? My husband actually also works from home, so I gave him the office down the hall. So he has a whole room to himself where he can close the door, which is good for him, but it's also good for me when he's on the phone and I don't want to listen. He can, we can close that door and I, and there's quiet it's quieter in this room so think about in your own home what's a space that you have that could work for you it doesn't have to be big it can just be a card table with your laptop on it as long as you have your supplies kind of close by so that you don't have to keep running around to try to find the eraser or the ruler or whatever you need um, if you found this tip helpful, there are 59 more of them in my book, Stop Wasting Your Precious Time, and it's available on Amazon. So take good care. I hope you enjoy your home office, whatever that space is, and have a great day. Bye-bye.